Swenson. Here. Mr. Mary, you have a quorum. Okay. We'll start with the minutes from October 3rd meeting. Mr. Mayor, I make a motion to approve the minutes from October 3rd. Okay. I'll second. A motion to approve and second. Any corrections? Questions? Seeing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passed. Committee reports. Go ahead, Matt. Mr. Mayor, the uh, Streets and Sidewalks Committee met on the 3rd of October following the Council meeting. We continued our discussion on the mill levy. We also talked a little bit about the gas tax, potentially. Uh, there was no um, action taken on anything, just discussion. Okay. Any other? Mr. Mayor, I don't have a committee report, but I do need to call an ordinance committee meeting. Um, I'm open to dates. Basically, um, we just have some cleanup. Um, the second ordinance change that we made on parking regarding vehicles, we've got a couple little items that we need to clean up there, and I, you know, it's more than consensus stuff. So, um, next next week, sometime, people available Tuesday should be Tuesday, Thursday, Tuesday, Does six matter. p.m. It should be it should be quick. Yeah. Give you a 6 p.m. to the little conference room Tuesday. What's the date? The 25th. 25th. Okay. Doug, could you post that for me, please? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Any other committee reports? Seeing none, we'll move on to the agenda item. Uh, it's open for public comment for anything on the agenda. Public comments for anything on the agenda. And I think are you I, voting for anything today? Vote for anything? Yeah. Yeah, we take actions on the agenda items. As so your two council members that aren't here don't matter on the vote? Or? Well, we have a quorum. Oh, okay. Let's check. No, I have to have a quorum is what it is. So, thank you, though. Any public comments? Seeing that, we'll move down to the agenda which the first one is the water treatment plant uh, drawdown number 17. Want to come on up, Michelle? Okay, um, this is SRF draw number 17. It is for $10,568 and it's engineering. What's that? I didn't hear the last part of what you said. Oh, it's for engineering okay. services. Mr. Mayor, I make a motion to approve the uh, draw request as presented. Second. Okay. Have a motion and a second. Any other questions? Ooh. Michelle on it? Seeing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passed. We'll move on down to the Bohook Storm Drain uh, drawdown number one on it. Okay, um, this is your first um, TSEP drop for that um, project. It is for $252,018.59. This is your first construction drop. Mr. Mayor, I'd also make a motion to approve the draw request as presented for the storm drain. Okay. I'll second. I'll motion to second. Any questions on that? Pretty obvious. Everyone's probably seen the work started down here. Are they still on track to get that done this fall, or maybe, maybe? weather uh, depending? <laughs> it's weather depending. Six <laughs> inches of snow don't help yeah. them much. Yeah. Yeah. It's slowed them down a lot. <laughs> so, but they have a long way to go yet. Okay. Any other questions? Comments? Seeing none. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passed. Thank you. Are you going to the antelope court also? 
Yes. Okay. <laughs> Go down with, draw down number three for Antelope Court on the home front. Yep, this one is draw down number three for $10,000 for the Antelope Court um, project. And it's moving along, to my understanding, pretty well. Looks like it. Still grant money. So we're good. I think they could use some good weather too. Yes, they need. <laughs> but do I have a motion? I'll make a motion to approve the online court CDBG home drawdown. I'm sure that you made that motion. <laughs> <laughs> the second name is so much easier. I know. It's just all of that soup. <laughs> it is that one. Okay, questions, comments? Seeing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? <coughs> Motion passed. Uh, just a note on that one. You guys submitted a letter for additional home funds. Um, they want to have a conference call tomorrow at 2 because um, there's going to be discussion on it. I think they still want to give us the money, the additional money. Um, they just had a couple of questions. Okay. Michelle, was that for the carports or yeah. something? Yeah, yeah the, the problem, what they're having the issue is, is saying it's for the carports. For whatever reason, they're not thinking that carports are an important part for elderly people, which we all know in Montana that they are. Um, so I think what's going to end up happening is they'll give us the extra money, but um, we'll say it's going to be used for um, you know, some other improvements on there, and then the money that they've already given us will be for the carport. So they'll give us the money. I mean, it, and the carports are going to get billed. It's the language. It's the language. Yeah. It'll be for not Not the carports. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> But it's still going towards the project. I just want to make that perfectly clear. Yeah. It's for the project. It's for this college. We're not wasting state money. Okay. Thank you, Michelle. Sure. Uh, the last item on the agenda is the run. The Northern program is wanting to have a globe run tomorrow night at 7 o'clock. It's registration and 8 o'clock is a run. I guess talk to the police department. Public works also as far as assistance. Mr. Mayor, to make a motion to approve the MSU Northern Program Council of Low Run. Second. Okay. Second. Any discussion? Seeing that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passed. Okay. That takes us down to. <coughs> Public comment on anything else that needs to come before the council. Any comments? Any of you high school kids want to come up, have concerns? You'd probably get extra credits if you <laughs> You should get extra credit for coming so early, too. I know that there was a discussion. Why, why, why don't I come up to the mic for everyone? Your name in, the Cody Welch. Yeah, um, turn it on. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Cody Welch. Um, there was a discussion kind of talking about uh, Haver concerns. There's a page on Facebook. And they brought up some stuff about, uh, I can't remember what it was all about, the roads or um, some tax. But, uh, anyways, it got into where uh, it's coming into like people in the public want to know more. And they want to see about other ways of getting into um, getting the information out there a little easier other than you know having to come into City Hall and tracing the paper records down and things like that so um, you know do you guys have a Twitter that announces your meetings or like a Facebook I mean somebody you know mentioned that you guys don't want to be on social media that's fine your name doesn't have to be on social media but you could have one that just states City Hall and then put 
all you can have access to it and make your comments, you know, about certain things on there. And you don't have to identify unless you wish to, you know. But, you know, on the aspect of the social media thing, you know, you look at a lot of other politicians, you know, they'll, they'll use that as well to get messages out there. And I think that to get more people involved with some of the stuff that's going on in the town, and that way, you know, ideas are not being generated, you know, without being able to, you know, ask the person directly. And I mean, I, I can say for a fact that I've tried to call you and you know, speak to you a couple times and I never got through. So, um, but this was, this was about something totally different. But, uh, you know, the phone calls and paperwork are just kind of obsolete. So, you know, it'd be kind of neat to see you guys upgrade to something new and let people realize that, you know, you might get a little more interaction and people interested if there's another way to communicate with the public. Because in, in that conversation, um, I put up a poll that asked about, you know, well, would you like to see more transparency from the city council on, on matters? And there was, you know, I don't know how many people actually seen the article, but there was a ton of comments, you know, and there was a lot of backing, you know, in the conversation. I even got into it a few times and said, well, come on down to the meeting, express your thoughts, you know. But if you had social media to help you know, back up your guys' plans, people might be able to ask directly and answers could be, at, you know, put, put through that way as well. And, and I don't disagree with you. The, the problem is there's rules on how we can meet as far as uh, the discussions and stuff that go on amongst council members. Uh, they get on social media and start a couple of them talking back and forth. Uh, if you get a quorum and you, then you have a meeting that the public, it has to be advertised and all works. And so that's why we do advertise the, uh, the, with the paper, put it out as far as the information, and have a meeting here where we do have a quorum. People have to be available and hear both sides of it. Sure. And, and sure. that's why it is have to be a public meeting. So I, I, and we do appreciate the social media for input back and forth, but as far as us really, uh, involved in that, there is well, you, you some know, like concerns. Un, unlike not to cut you off on that, but I mean, it can be as simple as like, all right, you got your Twitter, you just put out a, all right, this time we're meeting about this, we're going to talk about this, you know, and then people would be aware of. And we're looking at our web, updating website to take care of some of that. Yeah. So. But thank you. Uh, it's things to consider, but th there is regulations on this that we need to consider too. Mr. Go ahead. About that. I mean, Cody, I, you know, I'm not a huge fan. You know, I'm 57 years old. I'm not a huge fan of social media. So I, I, because I think sometimes voices get drowned out in the whole social media process. But I understand that that's probably not your thought on it. However, the question I have is, if you're going to do social media, you need someone to do that. Is what I really believe. If if a city was going to engage in social media. So the problem I see is people and money and who's going to do that. So um, I guess it would be my thought as a council person, if there ever is any money available, like grant money or something else to, you know, to write for, to help maybe make social media for the, you know, more, a, a better website, you know, all those kind of things to make it easier for us to at least I'm not sure if the city's ever going to have a Twitter account, but I'd love to have a great website. But that takes time and people, and and we don't expect people to work for free, so it takes money to do that. I think all those are important issues that, and right now, that's really not in our budget. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, like me personally, I've been, I have a small business that I'm trying to start up, and like so I'm doing business. these and uploading these videos to the public you know I don't ask for any money on it you know I'm just doing a public service but and we do it and, I, and I'm learning a little bit more about this and I was in city government and at northern there or not city government but uh, city council or <laughs> student, <laughs> student council yeah so I mean I kind of got an idea how it operates and everybody needs to be there and you know you got to have so many people there for votes and that and, um, it to me though like as in you know, this, this is free, you know, and it, it, it covers these, but just like the little meetings, you know, that go on in offices, 
you know, if you have just something really quick you could put on there, you know, that it, it just, your page could be pretty static with just your media links, you know, and be like, check this out, follow us to know when our meetings are, you know. So, that, I mean, that's all I'm saying. It could be as simple as that, you know, and you don't even have to put your names into it too much because it can all go on at the meeting, you know, and then they can see, you know. Okay. Thank you. And do appreciate you doing this as far as tape it for the city. It's a great way to get the information out there. Okay. All right. Thanks. Thank you. Anything else to come before the council? Anything else? And then I'd entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Okay. Thank you for coming.